Hi, this is Mandy with Scott LaRoy Marketing. Today we are going to show you how to add your NRDS number to your DocuSign account. That way you have access to all of your forms available through your MLS and through your office. So you will see that we went directly to DocuSign here on your screen. We went to account.docusign.com. This will log you straight into your account here versus going through command with your opportunities. We always highly recommend using the opportunities tab in your command to get to your DocuSign, but for today's demonstration, just for this purpose, we're going to go straight to DocuSign. Now, we've already put in our login. We've put in our password. We're going to hit login. You may have one of three screens populate here. The first may be verification. It may be asking you to verify by sending you a text code or an email and asking you to verify that is your two-step verification and or possibly a device verification. We do highly recommend you disable those on your DocuSign account as they are known to cause a connection issue between command and DocuSign. It'll create extra steps for you and may actually spontaneously disconnect um, from command at a, any given time. So definitely disable that if you are getting that pop-up right now. On the far right, I'm going to go back to switch to e-signature here. And this is the second screen that you may have seen populate. It has a black banner across the top. It's an e-signature account. We want to be in KW Rooms. So this, what you're seeing on your screen now, may be the second screen that you see show up. If that is the case, no worries. Come over here to the profile, give it a click, and choose Switch to Rooms right here. So we're going to switch to rooms. It's going to bring you onto a page where you will either see the rooms you've already created or maybe it's just a blank dashboard ready for you to add activity. But you will notice the KW branding on the top right and on the top left you'll see DocuSign Rooms, which is again your KW Rooms that you'll become familiar with through through command. So I'm going to click the profile photo again. We want to get to integration. So the reason we're doing this again, add the NRDS number so that you can access your forms. It's called integrating your NRDS number or NERDS number, whichever you call it. So I'm going to click the profile and choose preferences from here. And we'll give that just a moment to populate. Here we go. And you'll choose integrations. Now, this one already has the local market center forms added right here you'll see company forms if you do not see this you can click add provider and this little link down at the bottom right will actually be an active link for you it'll be blue it says continue to company forms without validation you just give that one click and it will come back and show you company forms right here. That means you have access to all the forms that your local market market center has put in here for you to have access to and any templates they may have created. Now, we also want to add your actual association of realtors. So you'll see some states are very specific. There's Northwest, Georgia, California, Oregon, and Texas. If you do not see your state located here, or maybe you're just unsure like how many states are included in the Northwest, you can always come right here to the National Association of Realtors and choose this one. Sometimes it's just a little easier, so we're just gonna give that a click. Now, let's say you do not have your NRDS number or are unsure of it. You can always click Find Your Member ID. It's going to bring you to the National Associations of Realtors page, and you can choose one of two ways to look up your number. You can choose last name and email or last name and real estate license number. When you click on it, it'll ask you to enter that information and hit Submit. And it'll do one of two things. It'll either populate your NRDS number right here for you that you can easily copy and go back to your integrations tab, or it's going to give you a big pink box that says there's an error of some type. Sometimes we see this if you are newly licensed in a particular state, maybe your licensing paperwork is not quite done, or you may have had a name change and the NRDS number is super particular. It has to make sure that your license name is exactly the same way um, on everything down to like a middle initial and a period. So if you do happen to get that pink box, just make sure you reach out to the National Association of Realtors and get any errors cleared up there. Okay, so we already have our NRDS number, so we're going to close that tab, go back to our integrations here within DocuSign Rooms, and I'm just going to paste the NRDS number there, type in the last name, and choose our association. 
and you'll see it here in the list. Kansas actually has two. We're going to try this one. There it is. That was right. All right. And so you're validated for two associations. So you'll see that it may take a little time to upload, but you will notice here on your screen, National Association of Realtors is right here above company forms. That means you are good to go. Usually this does not take this long. So this is just a, a glitch. Um, we'll try refreshing here, but just know that it should look that way under integrations for you and show that it added the National Association of Realtors. There we are. And you can even click on it here and make sure that it shows that you're linked. Okay. And there's your nerds number if you ever need it again. We'll just hit back. Your integrations are complete. And so at any time you can just come back out to your dashboard and you should be able to add forms now to your rooms and have access to all of them. Um, just real quick, we will jump into a room here and I will show you the little eyeball verifying that your forms are complete. I'm going to documents, add, DocuSign forms is what we're going to add here. And you will see if I click on any of the Association of Realtors, you'll see the eyeballs. We, that means we have access to it. And so you can just click down the list. They're all there. And at the top, your groups are going to be the ones located with your, those are provided by your local market center. Have an eyeball on all of those, which means we successfully integrated everything. So that is it for our quick tip video today. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at support at scottleroymarketing.com and we'll be very happy to help you with any questions that you might have. Thanks for watching.